I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting test question on optimization. We are using trigonometric derivatives in this particular example. The question here is find the maximum length of a thin rigid pole that can be carried horizontally around a corner joining two corridors of width 1 meter and 0.8 meters. So these are the two corridors. This one is 1 meter wide and the other one is 0.8 meter wide. We need to find the length of this rod which could be taken through these corridors, right? The maximum length. Now what we can say is that let the angle be theta. So let us consider this angle to be theta. In that case, length of this rod could be written as, let me name these points as A, let it be O and B, right? So in that case, length L can be written as AO plus OB. Now from here, AO is, if this is angle theta, that is opposite side is 0.8, so AO will be 0 0.8 over sine theta plus OB the adjacent side is 1 meters and therefore OB will be which is the hypotenuse will be 1 over cos of C theta so in this fashion we can get length of the rod or the pole in terms of angle theta so we get function length as a function of angle theta so which is 0 0.8 over sine theta plus 1 over cos theta now to find the maximum length what we can do is we can find derivative of this function so derivative will give us the critical points and then we'll also analyze the boundary conditions now let us see what are the boundary conditions for us angle theta could be either 0 or 90 degrees right so that is these are the two possibilities of the angle right so we have theta which could be greater than or equal to 0 degrees or less than or equals to 90 degrees now if I subs now for 0 degrees and 90 degrees this equation is not really valid it for 0 degrees if theta is 0 then in that case maximum length will be equals to 1 meter right if it is flat then you can only take that much wide so it is 1 meter and for 90 degrees length will be equals to 0.8 meters 0 0.8 degrees right so that is the length for these boundary conditions in this particular case right if it is 0 degrees then the maximum length will be 1 meters and if if this angle is 90 degrees in that case the maximum length will be 0.8 meters as you can see so we'll analyze the critical value if it is more than these then we'll have a maximum in between so let's find the derivative of this function uh, we can apply the quotient rule so it'll be sine square theta in the denominator derivative of 0 0.8 is 0 so we get 0 minus 0 0.8 times derivative of sine theta which is 0 0.8 cosine theta plus derivative of 1 over cos theta cos square theta will apply the quotient rule derivative of 1 is 0 so minus 1 times cos theta derivative which is minus sine theta right now let's take the common denominator which is sine square theta cos square theta cross multiplies we get 0 0.8 cos cube theta minus sine cube theta so that is the derivative for the ladder now for critical number this derivative should be equal to 0 that being 0 means the numerator should be 0 correct so the numerator is 0 means 0 0.8 cos cube theta minus sine cube theta equals to 0. So we can now solve 
taking sine on one side. So we have sine cube theta equals to 0 0.8 cos cube theta dividing by cos cube theta we get sine cube theta divided by cos cube theta equals to uh, 0 0.8. So that is tan cube theta, right? So that gives us the critical number at, let us solve it on this side, tan cube theta equals to 0 0.8 or tan theta equals to cube root of 0 0.8. So let us use the calculator to find the answer. So we have shift tan inverse of cube root of 0.8 which is equals to 42.87 degrees, right? So, so that is the value of theta, right? So we get theta equals to tan inverse of this, which is indeed 42.87. Now what we can do is, we can analyze on either side whether the value is changing from negative to positive or not, right? So we'll analyze the angle given to us, which is 42.87. We can take a value of angle which is less than this, let us say 30 degrees, and more than this, let us say 60 degrees. In the given equation, we know numerator is always positive since they are squares. We'll analyze the, I mean, denominators are always positive since they are square. So we'll analyze the uh, numerators for the sine. So now let us calculate the numerator for 30 degrees and 60 degrees. So we have 0.8 times cos cube theta, so 0.8 times uh, within brackets cos of 30 degrees, uh, bracket close will cube this, minus sine cube, so we'll put it in brackets, sine of 30 degrees is equal to it's a negative approximately in decimals 0.39 positive. So it is a positive value of 0 0.39. 0 0.39 means that the derivative is increasing or the function is increasing. Now let us substitute 60. So if I 60, use 60 here, then what do we get? We get 0 0.8 within brackets cos of 60 degrees whole cube. minus sine of 60 degrees q equals 2. So that gives us in decimals negative 0 0.54. So this is negative. So that means the derivative is decreasing. So it clearly indicates that we do have a maximum at this point, right? So we have maximum at our critical number and this maximum is at 42.8 eight seven degrees. Substituting this value we can find the length of the pole. Right? So we have L at 42.87 equals to 0 0.8 divided by sine 42.87 I mean plus 1 over cos 42.87, right? Let's calculate this value, which is 0.8 divided by sine of 42.87 equals 2 plus 1 divided by cosine 42.87 equals 2. So that gives us the length of 2.54 meters right so that is the answer and this is more than 1 or 0.8 so that is the maximum length so we get our answer as maximum length equals to 2.54 meters right so that is how we could actually solve this kind of a question i hope it is absolutely clear thank you and all the best